Hello everybody. Welcome to my tutorial on making the vacuum freezer for Greg Tech 5U. This is a recipe on how to make it. You'll need three high voltage electric pumps, three data control circuits, two gold wires, and a frost proof machine casing. You will need 22 of them total. And if you look at this, it says you need one input, one output, one energy hatch, one maintenance hatch, and at least 16 machine casings. Uh, I've gone with low voltage input and outputs. I've got my machine hat, my energy hatch, my maintenance hatch. So let's get this started. I got my anneal copper wire here for the least amount of loss across medium voltage wires. And all of the things can go anywhere except for the controller which as of always or as usual goes right in the center and i am going to put my input and output on the back um, put output over there the maintenance will go there the input will go here Controller will go here because it has to be dead center, and this is a hollow structure. So, there we go. Give it just a second, it should all form like it did. Now, we'll just have to get all our tools to do the maintenance on it I think I got all the right ones this time let's see soft hammer soldering iron bar screwdriver wrench and wire cutters let's see if that's right plates are done oh I forgot the regular hammer Now, like with all the other multi blocks, you give it a whack. That will enable its processing. Um, the main uses for a vacuum freezer is to cool off hot ingots when they come out of the blast furnace. Uh, the main reason most people will probably make it. The first time or for the first use will be to upgrade their electric blast furnace to uh, canthal coils. That way they can do uh, tungsten and some of the higher rated stuff. Another use for it is cooling off cells from a reactor. Um, I'll show you that in a second. What I'm going to use it for also is putting in a air cell from IC2 and that will make an air cell from GregTech 
a liquid air cell. And if you look at the use on this, we make 53 of them, and then we can get nitrogen, oxygen, argon, noble gases, which those can then be turned into carbon dioxide, helium, methane, and deuterium. So it'll take a lot of power to run through all those, but that's the one use I'm going to be using it for. Now, if we look at the coolant cells, these here, the 10K, 30, 60, then the 60, 180, 360 heliums, and the 60, 180 and 360 NAC coolant cells can be cooled off in here. So if you have a reactor that runs on coolant cells and you actually want to cool them off rather than letting them run in another reactor to cool, you can put them in there and that'll cool them back off. Um, like I said, another use would be the canthal, which will probably be the first thing you use it for, which if I got my recipe right, will be this right here, and you need to cook this in the blast furnace and it'll give you this hot canthal ingot when you take this out it will do heat damage to you so you need to um, either not be wearing armor or use automate it so it automatically comes out of your blast furnace and into your vacuum freezer to uh, stop from having the damage which can be easily done like I've done here uh, basically I have this chest inputting and this one outputting these are conveyor covers that are set to input so anything I put in here will automatically get dumped into the input and then when it comes out, it will get sucked out and put into this chest. You can do the same thing. Hooking one up here, running it to here, and it will automatically put it in there. Now, if it does not accept it, it will not put it in here. And you can use one of these restrictor pipes. If you don't, you know, want to just put a, a chest, you can also run a restrictor pipe, put a chest here, and then anything else that doesn't have to be cooled will come into a chest here. That way you don't have to worry about which things are going to go in and which things don't, and then you won't get burned. So, that's the tutorial on how to build and use the vacuum freezer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, you'll want to make this medium voltage because all of the recipes require 120 unless you want to put 3 LV energy hatches on it. You can make it HV or higher, which will make it overclocked. But for every half of time, it will take four times the amount of power to run it. So if you want to cut down from, say, 60 seconds to 30 seconds, it's going to take you 4,000 EU rather than 1,000 EU. So keep that in mind. That's the same with all 
um, Greg Tech machines that if you make one that runs on a higher power rating, but the thing you're processing through it is lower, it will quadruple for each level from low voltage to medium voltage to high voltage, extreme voltage. It will quadruple every time and cut the time in half every time. So, have a good one. Hope it helps. Have a great day.